Hey, True Believers, England teen here. Now, as of this recording, it's August 28th, 2019. Jack Kirby would be 102 years old today if he had survived. I mean, that's a long, long life right there, but still, he's immortal anyway. And the reason? These top 10 character designs done by Jack Kirby. Let's get this party started. Number 10. Number 10 is Fin Fang Foom. Now, Kirby, before the whole Marvel Universe thing happened, did a lot of monster books in the uh, Journey of Mystery styles and all that kind of stuff. And he introduced to us a lot of different kind of monsters. I don't think any of them stood out the way that Fin Fang Foom did with the, the hands, the body shape, the, the elongated neck. It's a humanoid dragon almost. I love the face especially with the uh, almost like gills on the side with the antenna. I'm, I just really do think that this is an interesting and exciting looking villain. And I love the fact that it's usually controlled by the Mandarin to attack Iron Man. So it's not even like a mystical thing. Number nine. The Silver Surfer. Now, Jack Kirby is actually known for basically really intricate designs, awesome, weird sci-fi backgrounds, the whole nine yards. And one of his most interesting looking characters is a half-naked man in swim trunks riding on a surfboard. Everything about him is the same color, even his eyes. There's no difference. But when you look at him, it's like, wow. That looks cool. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, that's why I, I really do enjoy this character. I'm very happy to put him at number nine. Number eight. The Demon Etrigan. So when Jack Kirby finally went over to DC, it was a huge win for the company. The Marvel vs. DC battle was going heavy. And basically they gave Jack Kirby all the leeway he wanted. And this shows right here. I mean, imagine this pitch meeting. Yeah, I'm going to create a uh, a demon character. Really, like, from hell, so it's going to be, like, red skin, not yellow. Big-ass horns, no, they're going to be tiny little things. Claws coming out of the fingers, no, they're going to come out from the middle. All righty, so what's he going to wear? Is going to be this kind of robe thing? No, I'm going to put him in a onesie with maybe some jester booties. You would blow your freaking stock if somebody suggested this. And yet, here you go, and he looks awesome, and he has... For the last 40 years, man. I love this character. Number seven. Hella, alrighty, dudes. This kind of is deceptively awesome because it, it, you just really just glance at it. It kind of looks like a superhero outfit you've or supervillain in this case that you've seen before. Tights, cape. Yeah, but it is different colors of green on green. And just to pull that off, that alone is great coloring anyway and then of course you've got the different plates and such the cape is amazing but what really gets it is the headdress i love that and yeah i gotta admit when i saw thor ragnarok and kate blanchett was sporting the headdress i was like yes they're going with comic accuracy and that's awesome honestly this is just one of those things that you look at and you go it's kirby and this is what makes Kirby great. Sometimes he's a bit over the top. And sometimes it's very similar stuff. But for some reason it works on this character. It doesn't work on that character. But for Hela, absolutely works 100%. Number six. Arnim Zola. Man, check this out. Seriously, just look at him. Now, you want to talk about comic accuracy in the movies and then not. Well, it's sort of. Arnim Zola and Winter Soldier versus this. Come on, this wins every day. But it's a basic it's a, it's a basic concept where, you know, he was dying, he put himself into a robot body. The face in the front is his face on a computer screen. Yeah, just like you get in the movie. It's amazing. And this isn't even the weirdest character that Jack Kirby's designed, and we're going to get to that. I uh, I really all have always dug this cuz I just thought it looks so kooky right on down to the circles. What and Jack Kirby has a thing for circles by the way. If you ever really pay attention to what he draws all over the place, even th like on Thor, Orion has them. It's uh it's everywhere. Yeah. I I just think this is funky looking. Number 5. Mr. Miracle, ladies and gentlemen, this costume pops. It really does. And who would ever have thought, yellow, red, green? Really? You're going to put those together and that's going to work? And he does have the Kirby circles all over the place. 
but it's not just that it's the diagonal markings on the on the face it's on the arms as well everything is real precise in this costume and it all serves one reason see even though he is a hero mr miracle traveled the country as a performer and that's what that costume does it says hey look at me i'm gonna do something cool and not only does his audience do that Oh, but the readers have to pay attention as well. I, I absolutely love the high collar like Doctor Strange has. Overall, Mr. Miracle is one of my favorite costumes of all time. Number four, Modoc. Yeah, this is a character I've laughed at quite a bit, in all honesty. But over time, I've really come to appreciate it. I think a lot of people have, you know. I think there was a backlash to the backlash on, on Modoc. Especially, he's a, he's a mental character. He's smarter than you. He's, his brain is five times as big as his body. That's why he's got the big head. That's why he's in the chair. Absolutely a great design. I mean, he is a monstrous design. I could see him in like a Journey to Mystery kind of uh, book as well. I, I think it's just an amazing character. And uh, I, I, I cannot believe somebody saw this, though. And said, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Great job, Jack. Great job. Do it again. Keep going. Number three. Dark side. Yeah, look at that, man. Just what a great design. So rumor has it that he designed the face off of Jack Palance. And okay, yeah, you can kind of see it, especially in the in the, in the Silver Age. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. But damn, the, the shoulders, the gray it's just such a great imposing figure and to think that over at marvel thanos needs a glove of infinite power to be intimidating and all dark side needed was a tunic yeah mic drop number two when captain america throws his mighty shield I love this. I love this costume. If only one reason, it is so on the nose, man. Stars, stripes, the big old A on the top, just in case anybody with the same colors in their flag want to try to take them for their own. He's like, oh, heck no. I stand for individualism. I stand for freedom. You know, that's what he's saying. He's saying he stands for American ideals, patriotic American ideals. And dude, you could tell just by the way he looks, even if he didn't have that big old A on his, che on, on his head. But I'm glad he has it there so he can point to it and go, this doesn't stand for France. <laughs> yeah, absolutely an excellent costume. Deserves to be at the number two spot. Arguably could be at number one. I'm, I, for those who believe that, I'm not going to take anything away from you on that front. It's just, I think there's just one costume and one character design that's a little bit better than this one. The number one comic book character design from Jack the King Kirby is... Galactus! Yeah, it can't be anything else in my opinion. This is amazing. Now, I've heard rumors and I heard stories, I've read articles, and uh, one of my favorite stories about Galactus is that Stanley said they needed a godlike character. So he drew Galactus, and that's why he's got the G. What's the G stand for? God. And he was named Galactus after that. But uh, it's such an amazing... I love the, uh, the helmet, the fact that he made lavender and blue put together look intimidating. Once again, we've got the tunic look as well. Galactus is a fun-looking character, man. Seriously. I love him as a villain. And I don't want to see him as a cloud ever again. He needs to be in th this way right here absolutely every gosh darn time out let's pay some tributes to galactus and jack the king kirby if he ever shows up in the mcu i don't want to see a cloud gang i want to see this awesome awesome this awesome costume right here there you go kids jack kirby's top 10 character designs where did I go right? Where did we go wrong? Let me know in the comments below, because I know you have your opinions. Like, which ones are just, wow, that's awesome, and which one do you think, uh, yeah, I think you were wrong because you should have had this character on. I want to hear your decisions. I want to hear your choices. Put it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to click like and share, subscribe. Get word out about the channel. That's the important thing, of course. 
And don't forget to ring that notification bell because that's all that YouTube really cares about these days. And if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Ko-Fi or to uh, Patreon. The links are in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till and help us out. This is the way I'm trying to make a living. So if you don't mind uh, doing that, you can even uh, commission a video over at Ko-Fi and tell me what you want to see. Links in the description below. I like to thank everybody who has already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.